What makes you think it won't happen again? Oh, we'll know what to look for. And if either one of us sees it coming, you know, we have to promise to each other we'll talk it out right away. What makes you so sure we can get it right? <sighs> it's different now. How? First of all, Matt's gone. Okay, our problems had nothing to do with Matt. Well, uh, he was playing us uh, from the minute he got here. Maybe he was Case, but, I mean, we were shaky before he ever showed nah, up. No, he, he made it worse. He wrecked our friendship. But look, now it, it's just me and you again. Is it? What about Jade? She's just a friend. I don't... Oh, that is not the way it looked the night I went to your house and saw the two of you together. That, it didn't mean anything. Maybe not to you. Here, her either. You have to be sure about that. I am, I am. Okay, you need to talk to her, Casey. You know, make sure things are clear with her so she knows where things stand. I, I, I don't think I have to do that. I do. Make things clear with Jade, and then maybe we can talk about a duel. I'm just saying you ought to be careful. I mean, you've gotten your signals crossed with guys before. Well, I'm tough, and I'm also not wrong about Casey. You didn't think you were wrong about Will, either. Yeah, well, Casey's not Will. And he's not Ricky. He's not married. He's not seeing anyone. And he's not wanted dead or alive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> wow, some catch. Look, when he wanted to prove that those drug charges were bogus, he reached out to me. He trusts me. Well, just make sure that his feelings aren't just gratitude. Oh, don't worry. He's going to be feeling a lot more than that tonight. It seemed to me like Kevin couldn't care less about who killed Reg or Elwood. Well, he just said that he wanted to stop thinking about it. And I don't blame him. He also said he hoped that they didn't catch Matt. I don't think that's what he meant. Why are you defending him? Why are you attacking him? I'm not. I just think that something happened in between the two killings that really freaked him out. Like what? <laughs> like maybe he figured out who really did it. But we know who did it. Maybe we're wrong. Well, then so are the police. Exactly. Which would totally freak me out. Matches the car ID by the witnesses on the bridge, and it's registered to Matthew O'Connor. Well, it looks like he ditched it here after he killed Elwood. You said there was something else? Oh, yeah, this has been forced. And hotwired. So why would he hijack his own car? It's so good to see you. Is, is Jade here? Yeah, Jade. I'm so glad you came. I'll leave you guys alone. Casey, I just want to say that I am I'm really sorry for what you had to go through, and it's great to have you back where we belong. Thanks, Ed. See, I knew your mom would realize you were innocent. Well, you knew that because I didn't. Whatever. It's worth celebrating, though, right? I, I want to take you to this great restaurant in Chicago. I'm buying. Listen, I, I don't. I don't think we should do that. Okay, another night. I, I'm not just talking about tonight. Why? You know, we've been really good friends lately, and I. I don't want to lose that. Yeah, but we're already more than friends, aren't we? We tried. You know, and that's where all these bad vibes started. And yeah, we're, we're past that. I. I don't want it to happen again. This is about Allison, isn't it? No. No, it's not. Yeah, Matt's gone, and you're going to go back to her, right? We're going to try again. Yeah. You're an idiot. Oh, yes, I know I deserve that. No, okay. open your eyes, Casey. It's not going to work. She's going to keep you around until the next guy shows up that she wants. Maybe. But I can't just give her up. Allison, Allison, wait a minute. It's important. Um, I already told you everything. I no, no information. Um, I need help. With what? We found Matt's car. It was broken into and hot wired. So he was telling the truth? Well, it looks like he was because the prints that we found around the lock were his. Okay, so then it, it couldn't have been him who was driving the car when Elwood was killed. However, he did take off, and that's a problem. Well, maybe he was just scared. I need to talk to him. I don't know where he is. Well, have you called him? Not recently. Would you? You think he'll answer? Yeah, he would. He trusts you. And you want to use that? Yeah, I do. I need to talk to him. If he didn't do this, he might be able to lead us to whoever did. You know, I, I don't think I want any part of this. I, please, please, 
I know that he's a very dear friend of yours. But if he killed those two boys, he doesn't deserve your friendship. If he didn't, he needs your help. Because he's running scared. He'll be arrested either way. Well, if all he did was panic, I'm not going to hold that against him. You mean that? I wouldn't say it. If what do you want me to do? You, you really think that Kevin knows something? I do. And that's based on the way he was acting just now. No, it's not just that. It's the way he... It's the way he ran his whole entire sleazy campaign. Yeah, but... But I'm not sure that's all Kevin. I think that was Mark Vero. You know, he was so messed up on drugs, he didn't even know what he was doing. Well, he should have made it his business to know. Everything that your campaign manager does, he does with your name on it. Problem was, Kevin didn't take the time to figure out what was being done with his name. And that's why you're suspicious of him. It's not just that. And you saw him before. He was acting so jumpy. It wasn't just... It was more than just because of the death of a classmate. Look, I know you really want to trust him, but I think you need to really let that go before someone else gets killed. I don't know what's going to happen between me and Allison, okay? Maybe you're right. Maybe she'll dump me. It's not a maybe. But it doesn't mean... You know, if you're I... going to say we can be friends, I don't want to hear it. But I think we can be. I think you have to go. Jade. You said what you came to say. Now leave. Sorry. Hey, Matt, it's me. Um, please give me a call as soon as you get this. I think I can help you. There's a warehouse on 4th Street, and we can meet there, and it's safe, and just call me so we can set up a time to meet. Please. This is very important. Okay. Wow, that was good. Thanks. This better not be a trap. I promise you, I, I promise, if Matt can help us figure out how Elwood Hoffman and Reg Addington lost their lives, then he is off the hook, and we're one step closer to getting a killer off the streets. All right? So call me as soon as he contacts you. Thank you. Hi, Allison. Mark, what are you doing here? I'm just looking for you. Why? I don't have the key to the meds, if that's what you're thinking. I already told you I am clean. Yeah, I know you said that, but it's... Yeah. Are you okay? Me? I'm great. I just need you to come with me. Uh, where? I can't tell you that, Allison. Why not? Because I am a junkie, and we both know that junkies never tell the truth. You're high, aren't you? No. But that could also be a lie, couldn't it? Okay, let me go get you a doctor. What for? You need help. I don't need help, Allison. I need you. 